Hey guys, Survivor101 guy here. Uh, welcome to the first episode of my how to slash tutorial series. Uh, today is just going to be the basics of Minecraft, uh, basic moving, um, all the different buttons that do different things on Minecraft. So let's get started. Um, basically, when you open up Minecraft, it's going to bring you to this little Minecraft launcher and whatever update it is. Um, obviously, I'm on mine right now. So, and then you click this button, play. Um, if you're not connected to the internet, it'll usually say play offline. Um, you can just play on single player, but play allows you to play on uh, multiplayer too, and we'll get into that. So, uh, I am using Adobe, er, excuse me, uh, Movavi Screen Capture. Um, so that's where you can see all my stuff down here. And I'm just gonna maximize this real here. Okay, so when you get in here, there's two buttons right here: single player. Single player uh, brings you into this. You can create a new world, all that good stuff. Um, multiplayer, you can put in servers, add server right here, and uh, type in a server address or server IP, and uh, then you can join it, like join server. Um, so it's basically just multiplayer options. Uh, we'll get into this in a second. Quit game, obviously it it obviously it quits game. Um, so let's do single player. Let's just create a new world. Um, let's say, um, uh, okay. Let's just do that. Okay. So now you get you get in here. You type in your world name. You can choose survival, hardcore, creative, all of that good stuff. More world options. Uh, you can type in a seed, which is uh. There's different seeds that do certain worlds, like uh, Mesa, Biome, you spawn in it, or whatever. Your night structures. Uh, structures is right here, villages, dungeons, etc. Uh, so it'd be like a village or like a temple, desert temple. You Usually, I would keep that on um, because that's where you get all the goodies. Cheats. Um, I would keep that off unless you're planning on going on uh, creative and then... Uh, doing all your building, then turn it back to survival and to have fun. I would usually keep that off though. Um, makes it more interesting. Bonus chest. This gives you a little bonus chest. Uh, it gives you like an axe, um, wood and stuff. Excuse me. Uh, and helps you. Um, I would keep that off too. Unless it's actually very good uh, to keep on. Okay, there's different world types right here. Default. Usually I would keep on default. Super flat. Super flat is in for creative. Uh, it still has all the dungeons and stuff. You can customize it right here, and I go to presets and click one of these bad boys. Uh, um, that's usually for building if you're in creative. And then there's uh, large biomes. Obviously, it makes all the biomes like really large and uh, makes them bigger than the regular. And there's amplified. Uh, you have to have a beefy computer. I'm on a Mac right now, so it says I can use this. Amplified makes everything like huge mountains and stuff. So we're just gonna be on default. Click done. Um, yeah. Then we do this. Excuse my little, excuse my little Adobe reader right here. Okay, so it's gonna do this. Then it's gonna spawn you in a world. Okay, obviously if you have a, a uh, Gonna be a little laggy at first, but obviously you have if you have a mouse, um, you you can turn around and stuff like this. I will show you how to do everything in a second. Um, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. So, I'm going to uh, show you guys all the basic movements and stuff like that. Let me just get my notes here. Um, so, first of all, um, obviously you need to learn how to go forward. So, forward is pressing by pressing the W key on your keyboard. Um, you, can change, you can change which keys you use, but automatically the default is W. So, go ahead and press W. And you will move forward. Again, this is just the basics. Um, okay. Uh, backwards is S. So W, S. Basically, it's going to use the W, A, S, D keys. Um, so W, S, 
A makes it go sideways, uh, left, and D goes right. So that's the basics. Okay, sprint. Sprint is, here, let me get up here real quick. Get on some better ground. I'll show you guys how to do jump and all that stuff in a second. Okay, so now we're up here. Uh, this looks like a pretty cool world, but we're not going to explore it right now. It's just the basics. So, uh, s sprint, you you tap W and then you tap it again really fast. So, boom, boom, W. Boom, boom. Okay, sprint. So, this is regular running. And this is running. Um, sprint and walk. So sprint is very good for getting around. Uh, it takes it takes down your hunger bar right here. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, the jump. Jump is done by pressing uh, space. So jump, space, space, space. Um, the only way to get over blocks like this is to press space to jump. Okay. And um, okay, left click. Uh, obviously left click you press it it's basically used for beating up people so if you're on PvP server hit it you can break stuff uh, if you're killing mobs have a sword in your hand boom 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 punch punch that sort of thing wham wham um, also it can break objects so if you hold on it, it breaks the dirt and you get this little block of dirt um, that comes into your hotbar right here and, uh, yeah, and you can also break objects, so, like, say there's a, um, iron frame right here, or something, there's, like, an iron frame right here, you can break it, um, and then, uh, in the inventory, also you use your left click for uh, picking up objects and moving places. This is your inventory. You uh, get to your inventory by pressing E on the keyboard. So press E and it brings it to this thing. You get your armor. You can craft things in here. Um, you can put armor on here and move around your heart, hot bar stuff. So this is your basic inventory, crafting deal, armor slots, and this is your hot bar down here. So obviously, as you can see, it's my hot bar up here, hot bar down here, and this is your hot bar. We can change uh, different objects. By using the little, um, it's a scroll button on your mouse, so you can use that by turning around, or you can use your uh, one, two, three. So I'm gonna press on four right here. It takes you automatically to it uh, without having to use your scroll button. It's very good if you're fighting. You can automatically say you're over here, automatically hit one, and I usually keep my sword in slot one, uh, used for hitting. So. That's that. Uh, now we have the right click. Right click. Uh, basically, it places. You can place objects like this. So you, you use right click for that. I'm just gonna break some wood here and demonstrate you guys to you guys with the uh, crafting bench. Most of you that have played Minecraft probably know this. It's just the basics. So I just used left click, broke that. Um, so now crafting. You can grab this. And you can actually hold right click and it does this sort of thing. And you can make everything go out easier. Um, so if you put crafting in here, you get oakwood planks, four, um, you have eight. Now you can hold that button right there, uh, your right dill, and it just like does everything like that. And then you can split object, split uh, stacks like that. Okay, so then you get a crafting table. Let me just put this down right here um, by placing right. And then you press right, click again, and it opens up this crafting thing. So you can, like, make make your sticks, and then you can make, make your sword, and such. Okay, now also, uh, pressing right click, holding right click, you do this block thing. So if there's a creep right here, about right blow up, you can hold this, and it uh, shields you from some of the damage. Not all of it, but some. Okay, and then we have, uh, let's see here, you have your little health bar right here, if you, you, you can take fall damage, um, I can show you real quick, take fall damage, oops, that did not work, take fall damage from falling, obviously I took a lot of fall damage right there, 
It's actually on peaceful right now. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. So yeah, that's that. I can kill a guy pressing left click right here. Just got some meat and some leather. And uh, yeah. Okay. That's basically it. Uh, also, you can ride animals. So, like, say you have a horse right here, uh, get in one of your things, uh, right click on it, and you can get on the horse. And you can tame the horse, or uh, this works with pigs too if you have, like, a saddle on a pig, or I think you have to use, like, a, uh, a carrot on a stick or something like that. So, yeah, that's that. Okay, now we have. Uh, Okay, T. You press T on your keyboard, it brings up this little thing. So you can t t type your friends and uh, type, say, hey, like if you're on a server or your friends on the same world you are. You can like be, hey. Also, you use T and you can press slash and like say, game mode one. Obviously, it doesn't work because we don't have uh, cheats on. But if that's how you uh, do your cheats, you press slash on your keyboard. Slash or backslash? It's it's this one right here. So, and then you uh, to get out of this thing, you just press escape uh, on your keyboard. So that's how you can talk to your friends. Press T and then type in your desired message thingamajig, uh, and that you can also uh, TP by going like um, well, 23 by 42 by 56 and stuff. And so it's like the X. Uh, y and Z coordinates. Obviously, it doesn't work because we don't have cheats on. So that is that. And then we have uh, uh, also you can press T and you can scroll up. Right, right in here, you can see what other people have been saying. Uh, if you're on a server. And okay, and then we have Shift. Now, if you press Shift. See, obviously, I, I move down like that. Um, so, if you hold shift and you go next to object, see, you won't fall over it. You you just stay on the same block. So, it's very great if you're caving, or if you're, like, on the edge of a big ravine and you don't want to fall in. Uh, you can hold this. You can also jump, by, uh, jump when you're on shift. So, hold shift and then hit space. And, uh, each person, if you're on a server... There's a little name above your head. Mine would say Survivor 101 guy. But if you hold Shift, it sort of hides that name. So if if you don't want to be seen, you can hold that. Hide behind blocks and stuff. And then you can hold Shift um, and hit Space and W to go forward. And then take some fall damage right there. Um, so that's always fun. Okay. So that's Shift. Um, also, Shift. You can hold Shift and click on the object. And it'll move it. Uh, so like, hmm, what can we make here? I don't think we can make anything like that. But, uh, so yeah, if you if you put it like over here, you can hold Shift, clicks it in there, boom, boom. Uh, also, if you're if you make a chest and you just want to get stuff in your chest, just hold Shift and click on it, and it'll automatically sort uh, the stuff that's in your inventory and shove it right into the chest. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get back up there. <laughs> so, control. This is a new one added in 1.7. Uh, if you, it's also, it's used for sprint. So, control, if you're just going forward and you hold control, it automatically does sprint for you instead of having to, uh, double space it and stuff. So... Uh, let's get up in a tree real quick here. Just broke that. Ooh, got an apple. That's nice. Uh, saying, oh, uh, okay, let's get up here. It's getting dark. Uh, there's different phases with the moon. Usually it stays about 10 minutes daytime and then 10 minutes nighttime. I think that's about correct. Uh, okay, also with right click, drop down, take some damage, and then you can eat. Uh, your object if if your hunger bar right here is down. If your hunger bar gets down to three, you can't sprint. If it gets all the way down to zero, you start losing damage because your uh, 
dying of hunger, and you have to eat quick to uh, make your hunger bar go back up. Okay, and then we have F1. Okay, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. These are all special keys. You won't usually use them too much. Okay, F1. Uh, that was one. <laughs> Sorry. F1. Here, let's do. I think on a Mac you have to have, hit hold on F in, uh, on function button and then hold F1. So obviously it removes your uh, your weapon or whatever is in your hand right over here. And man, it's getting dark. Um, so yeah, and it, it just makes everything disappear on your board. So that way you can take a screenshot. And screenshots are done by hitting F2. Obviously, it does screenshot. I do not know how to get these screenshots. Um, usually, uh, it will store them on your pictures. I th I'm pretty sure. So just uh, if you're on a Mac, hold uh, the function button and hit F2. You know, take a screenshot and stuff. Okay, and then F3. F3 is a major one. If you uh, hit F3. Whoops. Not supposed to do that. Uh, there we go. Okay. It brings up all of this stuff up here. Um, to most people, it might look like a bunch of gibberish, but actually, it is uh, very helpful. Okay. X. As we see up here, this is the X, Y, and Z coordinates. So, X, if you look over there, it says minus 119 point blah blah blah. Okay. Now, if you go over here so look this is every block every block will move forward so it's 19 20 19 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 blah 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 then you can go back and it it moves okay then look at your y coordinate it's 70 right now then uh, when I drop down a block go to 69 so this is your up and down coordinates uh, x is your forward and backwards coordinates uh, and then we have Z, which is this way. So, and then we have East. So we're facing East. It says right here your F coordinate, East. So this is East, North, West, and South. And uh, this right down here, I don't know about all this stuff, uh, but this shows which biome you're in. So right now we are in the Forest Hills. Up here, this is a bunch of uh, stuff you don't really need to worry about. Um, it says use memory uh, 15. Don't worry about that stuff. It it's not really important at all. Um, might be to some programmers on Minecraft, but uh, just ignore that. Okay, and then uh, uh, hit F3 again. It takes that down. Okay, F5. If you do uh, F5, it will change your camera view. So now you can see me. I don't know why I don't have my skin on, but uh, this is your person right here. So as you can see, he walks around and stuff. Okay, so this changes your view. And hit F5 again, and I can see him up close. You can take an awesome screenshot. Uh, hit F1, now you can take an awesome screenshot, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. Uh, we are not going to do that. But, uh, yeah, that's how you take, that's how you do that. And those are the F F uh, buttons. And then, last but not least, is Escape. Hit Escape on your keyboard. Uh, usually it says E S C, very uh, top left hand corner. And it brings you to this sort of sub menu. It says Back to Game. You can click on that. It brings you back to the game. Uh, sorry guys, it's probably pretty dark for you guys because uh, it's nighttime. Um, so you can click Back to Game. Here's achievements. Click on achievements, and it has all this cool stuff. You can drag it by uh, holding on that. So now it shows you stuff on the world. This is time to farm. Use planks and sticks to make a hoe, and then you bake bread. Um, so off of this is bake bread, and then the lie. I'm not exactly sure about that one. I've never seen that one before. And then you can use the little scroll button on your mouse to zoom in and out, and all that cool stuff. A delicious fish, then you know, all, all of this. Yep. And okay, so this is statistics. Games quit. Zero.
minutes played, blah blah blah, distance walked, this is pretty cool, uh, distance fallen, so, yeah, so this is all of your specifics, damage dealt, uh, number of deaths, zero, all of this stuff on this world, uh, you can go to general, blocks, all the stuff that you've made, uh, and then go to items, so we've made one, one sword, four sticks, and uh, times used two times. And then go to mobs, we killed one cow. So that is basically the statistics options. This is the major one. Peaceful, there are different difficulties. There's peaceful, easy, normal, hard, and sometimes there's ultra hard. Uh, we won't get into that today. So peaceful, no mobs, your life automatically regenerates. Easy, there's mobs, uh, which are bad guys, and we'll show you that real quick. Or some bad dudes. They will spawn automatically. Um, so, yeah. And I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, sorry I had to cut out like that. Um, we actually had to go somewhere. Um, so, life doesn't stop for video recording in this house. And a little bit of lag here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what we're talking about here was the options. Okay, so... I went here, turn it to easy. So easy, yeah, let's go in here. Easy, normal, and hard all spawn mobs. And uh, let's see if we can't show y'all one of these mobs. Oh, here's one right over here. Okay, so this guy right here, he, oh, the lag. And that's another thing in Minecraft, uh, lag. Okay, so look, there, I don't have Optifine or anything like that, so I can't zoom in, but there is two skeletons right over there, and there is a creeper. So, skeletons, they shoot, shoot, oh, does that guy have a golden helmet on? We can use our F1 here. Yep, looks like he has one. And did I just hear a guy? Pretty sure I just did. Okay, get this bag. Oh, yep, yep, there's a guy right here. Okay, so this is the best way to kill a dude of his stature is, um... Basically, you want to weave right and then left, right and then left. Is he in the water? Was there another dude? It's not like there's a bunch of them. Uh, so you want to weave right and left and then get up on them and kill them. Uh, these guys, they can shoot really quick. Uh, so let's just see who this guy is. Where'd he go? And this little sport that you're seeing right here, I call it tree hopping. Okay, so where is this guy? Okay, he's right here. Master. I'm a master. Uh, so that's how you kill a skeleton with a trusty wooden sword. Uh oh, I hear another one. They're everywhere! Nothing not in your end of it. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that that those are the mobs. Uh, I don't know where that creeper went. Creepers just they have like four legs. Um, small ones. They're green. Um, you don't hear them coming up on you until you hear this. <laughs> and uh, they basically commit suicide and uh, blow everything around them to keep them calm. Uh, so it's gonna be like a little crater if it blows up next to you. Um, in the earth. Okay, let's get back to this. It's actually been about four real life hours uh, since I've been on this, so. <laughs> okay, it's hard, peaceful. Peaceful has no zombies. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Um, one of the main mobs is a zombie. Um, so, yeah, we'll get into that once we get into the real thing. This episode is just the basics. Uh, and this is. This. Uh, Actually, is not the real world we'll be uh, playing on. Um, yeah, so. Options, here we go. We, so we see music and sounds, video settings, language, resource packs, all this good stuff. Okay, uh, you probably want to stay away from the super secret settings, uh, because I'm not going to click on it. It takes, like, forever. Um, but it makes, like, everything look really weird. It's sort of like a texture pack in itself. Um, a resource pack. Okay, so this is a new thing. Uh, res resource pack. You can download resource packs from the internet, whichever one you like, and uh, put them in here and then click on them. It makes the game look really different and stuff. 
Uh, just wait a second. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, sometimes it lags when you do that. Okay, language. Um, you can pick whatever languages you're in. Um, obviously we're doing English. Um, if you like Arabic, uh, somebody that's Arabic is watching. Um, sorry dude, I don't have Arabic subtitles. But, uh, you know, if you want to watch, um, more power to you. So, that's that. Um, okay, open to land. Open to land. Uh, many people have asked me how to do this. Uh, how people can join your world. You can click on this. Uh, and she's on, off, creative, adventure, survival. All that good stuff. Um, and then if somebody's connected to the same internet or network that you are connected to, you know, let me just click on this real quick. Uh, they can join your world and you can play together with them. So that's pretty cool. Video settings. Video settings is probably the most, most important thing of these video settings and music and sounds. So video settings. Fast. Ooh, I forgot to set it to fancy. Okay, fancy is like this. So you can see through the trees and stuff, and it makes everything look a lot more fancy uh, than what it was looking. So I'm actually going to keep that on. Uh, smooth lighting. Probably want to keep that on um, most of the time. I had no clue what that is. Um, GUI scale, I'm pretty sure, is uh, this right down here. So you, you do not want to mess around with uh, GUI scale. I think I might like make it small, so just like that, and large, auto. So yeah, um, don't mess with that. Clouds. Um, sometimes clouds can make it make it laggy. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It just like it looks cool with the clouds. Uh, server textures. If you're on a server and they have certain texture, you can turn that on. Um, we're not on a server right now. Um, Use VSync. I am really not sure. I'm sorry guys, I do not know what that is. Um, you probably don't need to use like any of these right here. I um, probably don't need to use this either. Uh, full screen. Uh, it, it just makes everything big. I'm not going to do that right now. It it takes this screen right here and makes it all the way past this and all the way past this. So it's just a huge screen. Particles. You want to have particles on because if there's like lava above your head, it will do this. Uh, it do this little red drips. And that tells you that you do not want to mine above your head or else you get covered in lava and die. So. And then we have brightness. We want to keep it to bright. Um, you can not, but I would keep it to bright. Um, it's just my personal view. Uh, view bobbing. Bobbing is this little thing right here. Okay, watch, watch my sword right here. See how it moves when I run? That's the, that's the bobbing. Um, it it doesn't matter whatever item you have in your head, it'll still have in your hand, it will still do that. Um, FPS, this is the FPS, uh, I like to keep it around the 200 mark. Um, it keeps it running a little better. Render distance, okay, it goes all the way up to 16 chunks. And this, by the way, this goes all the way up to unlimited. Um, unlimited might make your computer run slow. Render distance, 16 ch chunks. If you have a really good computer, you can do this. Uh, you can see really far so now, now it's like rendering and then you can see way farther than you could like way over there now looks like it's getting daytime now um, so that's good so yeah that's the rendering distance I would not keep it all the way up there all the time I'll keep it down here a little bit uh, because sometimes you can make it lag uh, go all the way down to 2 um, so yeah and that's basically all of this stuff um, Okay, let's go to music and sounds. 1.7, I love it. They usually, they used to just have like one master volume, but now they have um, all the stuff you can block out different things like jukebox and note blocks. Um, I will usually keep that. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, what whatever your preferences are. Um, you know, friendly creatures. That's like dogs and stuff. Um, maybe cats and like. All the different cows and pigs and stuff. Ambient environment. Um, yeah, it's like that. Environment. Um, players, it's like if you're on a server with someone else and they're like getting killed or something, uh, you can just turn it way down so that way you can't hear that. Uh, hostile creatures. Uh, mobs. Um, it just depends. If they're, if you're like in this environment where there's tons of guys, I would keep that down so it's not so noisy, especially if you're video recording. Um, 
but it's very good to keep it up so that we can hear them uh, so you don't get snuck up on. Weather, it's like rain, lightning, I'll keep that off most of the time. Again, this is just my preferences. Uh, you guys don't have to do this at all. Uh, music, sometimes music can get annoying for me, um, so I just keep that off. And, I, and this is the master volume, it controls all of these. Uh, like, the same, what they are, but it, it turns them up just a notch and stuff. Um, so, snooper settings, I, seriously, I, I do not know what this is. Um, it will not be, for most of you guys, it will not be, uh, not be needed at all. You guys don't even know, how, don't even need to, uh, look in this. Um, what's player settings? If you're on a server, um, you can show the chat. Sometimes the chat can be a really, uh, kind of, you know, bad. They're, sometimes they have a lot of language, uh, so you can turn that, uh, commands only, uh, or just hide it so that way if you're video recording you don't want all that stuff on your channel, uh, you can just turn that off and stuff. Web links, sometimes on a server there will be like a link to a web, uh, to their website or something. Uh, you can turn that off or on. Prompt on links, uh, that's basically the same as this. Uh, um, I think this is like this width and size of your screen. You probably don't need to mess with that a little bit. A uh, scale and opacity. Again, guys, I would not mess with any of this stuff except for like the chat. I would keep that on. Uh, except for like the chat and the cape. I don't have a cape uh, uploaded to my skin, and I don't know my skin's not working right now, so that doesn't even matter. Uh, for me right now. And then we have controls. Controls is really important. You can change your buttons, uh, like we talked about earlier. Uh, you can change it and type in, you know, like, whatever. But I would not do that. Um, you can just click on it and then type in whatever whatever uh, key you want to, like, like say, G. And it'll change it to G. But I would uh, keep it the same, so that way you can always know. Uh, yeah, all this stuff. Inventory, all of this stuff. Um, keep it how it is. Yep. And tab. Uh, when you're on a uh, on a server, you can hit tab, and it'll show how many people are on there and what their names are and stuff. Sensitivity. I like to keep my sensitivity pretty up, so that's way I can like. Uh, that way I can move around really quick. Especially if there's like a guy behind me. Um, so yeah, I like to keep that up. You can turn it down for people that like to move their mouse a lot. Uh, invert mouse is uh, basically makes the mouse go backwards. Um, if you guys hear anything in the background, just ignore it. It's like my brothers and sisters. Um, okay, touch screen. If you have like a touch screen um, computer with the new Windows 8, you can turn it on. Um, that's basically it. And then we have broadcast settings. This is Twitch. It's a new thing in uh, 1.6.4. Um, you have to link up your account. Um, I really don't know too much about it. You guys can check it out at uh, twitch.com, I believe. And that's basically it. I uh, yeah, that that's about it, guys. Um, what else? Yeah, and you can also change your uh, language by clicking right here. Yep. And I think that'll wrap it up for uh, episode one. Again, guys, uh, this little thing right here is actually going to be deleted. Uh, just don't ignore these dudes. I'm um, done here. Um, so this is not the world we'll be playing on. We will actually be playing on another world, I think, I have in mind. Um, so... Any, any kind of suggestions uh, for this series, uh, go ahead, shout them out, leave them in the comments, uh, please. Um, some people think that, you know, the YouTube guys, they don't listen in the comments, but um, sometimes that's true. But with me, that's not, because I'm just starting off, and, um, you know, I need all the good advice, so you guys do that, and uh, thank you very much. And, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, 
yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Uh, have a happy, happy, happy weekend. And adios.